we will continue with the today's session ok now in the previous session we have seen Gina diode breakdown ok there are two types of breakdown are there ok I will repeat that one then we will go for the continuation Gina diode exhibits two types of breakdown still it is called Gina breakdown ok Gina breakdown second one is called avalanche breakdown Gnr breakdown second one is called avalanche breakdown these two breakdowns will take, in, will take place in the Gnr diode only still we are calling it as ok even though avalanche breakdown Gnr breakdown the diode is called Gnr diode only how to differentiate in a diode whether it's a Gnr breakdown is taken place or avalanche breakdown is taken place that depending on the breakdown voltage if the breakdown voltage Vz is less than or equal to 6 volts then it is called Gnr breakdown if it is greater than or greater than ok greater than 6 volts then it is called avalanche breakdown ok what is this Gnr avalanche breakdown first we will say avalanche breakdown then we will go for the Gnr breakdown avalanche breakdown initially let us suppose in a crystal there are so many atoms are there one free electron is also existed because of thermal energy now what you are going to you are applying external electric field what is going to happen this free electron acquires the energy from the external field and it will move like this randomly it's not compulsory that it has to move straight line it can move in this direction it can move in this direction some direction whenever a fast moving electron or particle collide with the stationary one this free electron will lose some of its energy here the valence electron which is existed here will acquire the energy so this becomes free electron here a hole is appear so initially there are one electron now it became two these two free electron acquired the energy from the external field then they will need two more atoms therefore now the number of free electrons increases to four these four valence electron free electrons acquire the energy from the external field hit four more atoms ok therefore that 4 becomes 8 8 becomes 16 like this this multiplication process is called avalanche multiplication and the breakdown due to this one is called avalanche breakdown Gnr breakdown means let us suppose there exists a strong electric field then covalent bonds are side by side with each other because of the strong electric field one electric field ruptures with the another electric field therefore energy transfer takes place therefore some of the covalent bonds are going to be broken therefore electrons are going to be generated free electron hole pair is going to be generated and this process is going to be taken in a short duration of that time that current increases rapidly but the voltage maintains constant ok this this phenomena is called Gnr breakdown avalanche breakdown to happen normal doping is sufficient whereas Gnr breakdown to be taken place we require very heavy doping heavily doped diode heavy doping is required Gnr diode is having negative temperature coefficient this one is having positive temperature coefficient what is meant by negative temperature coefficient what is meant by positive temperature coefficient means negative temperature coefficient means breakdown voltage decreases with respect to increase in the temperature positive temperature coefficient means as temperature increases breakdown voltage also increases clear these things we have seen in the yesterday session now we will continue with the today's session
regulation what is meant by regulation maintaining the output voltage constant irrespective of the changes in the supply voltage or changes in the load resistance is called regulator in power supplies we require always constant output voltage irrespective of the changes in the supply voltage or changes in the load resist load value okay therefore there are two types of regulation first one is called line regulation line regulation second one is called load regulation second one is called load regulation now what is meant by line regulation maintaining the output voltage constant irrespective of the changes in the supply voltage either supply voltage increases or decreases output voltage has to be maintained constant load regulation means output voltage has to be maintained constant irrespective of the changes in the rl value whether rl value increases or decreases the output voltage has to remain constant that is called load regulation the formula for load load regulation is our percentage of regulation equals to v no load minus v full load by v full load into 100 percentage no load voltage minus full load voltage by full load voltage into 100 percentage for an ideal power supply for an ideal power supply percentage of regulation equals to for an ideal power supply percentage of regulation equals to zero now what is meaning of ideal power uh, reg, uh, power supply why it is to be regulation zero our aim is to maintain the output voltage constant with respect of the changes therefore no load voltage has to be equal to full load voltage that means both should be equal means the numerator becomes zero therefore percentage of regulation you are expecting should be in ideal case it has to be zero practically it has to be as small as possible is clear now comes circuit diagram how a zener diode acts as a regulator see this figure this is called zener diode as a line regulator and if you see here load resistance and zener diode are connected in parallel therefore this regulator is called shunt regulator this regulator is called shunt regulator okay now the supply voltage is changing but still we require the output voltage constant how it is working i'll explain see here it is the current flowing through this one is assume it is is the current flowing through this one is il now what is the current direction in this one whether it's in this direction upward direction or downward direction this arrow mark indicates current direction when the diode is forward bias but now the diode is see here positive terminal is connected to cathode therefore now the diode is reverse bias reverse bias means current direction is like this that is important iz therefore from the figure is is equals to applying kcl at this node applying kcl at this node is is entering iz is leaving il is leaving okay now vs is assume it is increasing vs is increasing means rs is constant therefore is has to increase but this equation has to satisfy this equation has to satisfy now output voltage has to be constant means v not equals to il into rl rl is constant that means il has to maintain 
constant in order to have a constant output voltage. In order to have a constant output voltage, the Swinard equals IL into RL. RL is constant. If I, the IL is constant, then Swinard will remain constant. That means IL has to be constant, IL has to be constant. Then in order to satisfy constant. Then in order to satisfy this equation, see here, IS is increasing, this is constant. So what is going to happen? This equation has to be satisfied means IZ, sorry, IZ also has to increase. IZ also has to increase. Now see the Gina diode characteristics under reverse bias condition till this one current is zero. If you operate it in the breakdown region, now what is going to happen? The GNR voltage will remain constant, but current either it increases or decreases, in, decre, uh, decreases or increases, VZ is maintained constant. This is a parallel combination. So, IZ will change, but still VZ will remain constant. VZ is constant means V0 is also a constant because it's a parallel one. Like this, whatever the changes that increase and decrease is going to be taken place through the Gina diode only, thereby maintaining the output voltage constant. Okay. This is called line regulation. Why it is called line regulation? This line voltage or supply voltage is changed, but still output voltage is maintained constant. Therefore, it is called line regulation. Next one is load regulation. Now Vs is fixed, Vs is fixed value, RL value is changing, RL value is changing, this Vs value is fixed, Vs is fixed, then apply KCL at this node once again, Is is entering. IL is leaving, IZ is leaving, IS equal. Now, since VS is fixed, the current flowing through this one is fixed. Therefore, this IS is fixed. Now, what is going to happen? We are changing the RL value. Let us suppose RL value is increased. RL is increased means IL is going to decrease. Resistance increases means current flowing through that one is going to decrease. Now, IL decreases. In order to satisfy this equation, this has to be constant, this is decreasing. Therefore, this has to increase by the same proportionate, then IS is going to remain constant. Now, see here, IZ is increasing. From here to here, IZ is increasing. But VZ is constant or not? Therefore, the voltage across this one is a constant, the voltage across these two terminals is constant, means the voltage between these two points also constant. Like this, Gina diode is used in a regulator applications and since it is used in parallel with the load, therefore it is called shunt regulator. Next. Gina diode equivalent circuit. If you see, first of all it has to be operated in the reverse bias. If it is operated in the forward bias, it is same as the normal PN junction diode. If it is in the reverse bias, then it is replaced by a constant voltage. And if you see here, it's opposite. 
here see cathode, but here we are indicating the positive terminal because it is in the reverse bias. And the voltage this is nothing but Vz. Vz. And let us suppose that it is offering some resistance, then it is denoted by R. And okay, R, 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 reverse bias resistance. Clear? Therefore, this is the equivalent circuit of a G0 diode under reverse bias condition. And the far away, same as a PN junction diode, what we have seen for the PN junction. It's also, we, uh, there is a voltage will be there, but it is equals to small value, 0 0.6, 0 0.7 value. Clear? And now we'll go for the problems, okay, in based on the Gina diode. The first problem. Given given Vz equals to 6 volts, Vz equals to 6 volts, that is G0 breakdown voltage is 6 volts, Izk, that is G0 current, 5 milliamperes, 5 milliamperes, then find the minimum value of, then find the minimum value of R, then find the minimum value of R in the below figure. is given Vz equals to 6 volts, then Ij, G0, uh, knee current, knee Gnar current is 5 milli amperes. Then he asked to find out what is the R value, what is the R value. Now once again we get same thing. Here it is, this is 6 volts, that means voltage across this one also is also equals to 6 volts, since it is parallel. So we know the voltage, if I am able to find out the current flowing through this one, then R equals to, use the formula V equals to I into R, therefore R equals to V by I, using that formula. So for that purpose we require current flowing through this one, he is given current flowing through this one. How much is current given? This is some current is given Izk. You require, let us suppose, Il. Now, what is the current flowing through this one? Is. Apply KCL H node P. Is is entering Izk is leaving, IL is leaving, equation number 1. What is IS? See here, here there is a 1 voltage, here there is a 1 voltage. Now example, this is one resistance, here V1, here V2, current flowing through this one is I, its resistance R, then I equals to V1 minus V2 by R. Let us suppose here V1, here, it is instead of like this, if it is like this. Then it is V2 minus V1 by R. Now in our problem it is like this. Therefore what is the voltage here? 10. What is the voltage between these two points? 6 volts. Therefore 10 minus 6 by 50. That is 4 by 50. That is approx yeah, 4 into okay, 4000 if you are putting. 50 into 10 power minus 3. This is 80 milliamperes IS. So IS is 80 milliamperes. Substitute here. 80 equals to 5, the IZK minimum current 5 plus IL. Therefore IL equals to 75 milliamperes. 
therefore r value equals to 6 divided by 75 milli that is 6000 by 75 so, okay i think here you are going to get it as some 80 kill 80 okay some value i think i'll check it it's 80 ohms answer is 80 ohms next one In a voltage regulator, in a voltage regulator, IL vary from, load current varies from 100 milliamperes to 100 milliamperes to 500 milliamperes, 500 milliamperes. Assuming, assuming GNR knee current, GNR knee current, is negligible GNR knee current is negligible find the value of R find the value of R for the below figure for the below figure Here it is given it as this value is R. You ask it to find out the value of R. Here it is given it as 12 volts. Here it is given it as 5 volts. This RL value is changing. So he is given IL will vary from 100 milliamperes to 500 milliamperes. IZ is neg IZK is negligible zero negligible find the value of r find the value of r see once again same thing okay apply k same node assume it is node p apply kcl at node p is is entering ij is leaving il is leaving here it's izk is negligible zero now its current is varying from 100 to 500 you require the maximum value of assume the GNR current ok assume GNR current the value of R now we have to take the first we will take the IL value 500 that means IS is 500 ohm 500 milli amperes IS is 500 milli amperes now we know current therefore volt if you use the current formula 12 minus 5 divided by this resistance equals to ok therefore 12 minus 5 divided by R equals to 500 milli amperes therefore R equals to 7 by 500 milli amperes ok now if you take 100 you will get some other value ok but we have to take out of two values maximum value ok if you take a minimum value then the uh, transistor is going uh, sorry the GINA diode is going to damage because more current is entering into the GINA diode so here always the resistor value should be large value clear next problem Answer is previously 14 ohms. Answer is 14 ohms. Next. Given, given IZK equals to 0 0.5 milliamperes, IZK equals to 0 0.5 milliamperes, find the maximum load current find the maximum load current that is drawn from the circuit that is drawn from the circuit 
okay he is given ijk this is ijk how much 0.5 milli amperes find the il max see here once again apply is is given vz value s vz is 5.8 volts is is equals to ijk plus il ijk given minimum value 0.5 milli amperes ask you to find out il max value okay now is we have to find out is 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 equals to let us suppose initially 20 it's 20 minus 5.8 divided by resistance r value is given as 1k it's given in the problem it's 1k you will get some value okay then is take another value 30 minus 5.8 by 1k you will get another one now let us suppose here you got some uh, how much you are going to get it 14.2 milli amperes here you are going to get 24.2 milli amperes therefore il max is equals to check it we required is also max then only we will we'll get the is therefore it is 24.2 milli amperes minus 0.5 milli amperes that is simple one okay next problem in the following in the following limiter circuit okay i'll wait one minute i'll drop this one yes in the following limiter circuit in the following limiter circuit an input voltage an input voltage v i equals to 10 sin 100 pi t 10 sin 100 pi t is applied 10 sin 100 pi t is applied assume that the assume that the diode drop is 0.7 volts assume that the diode drop is 0.7 volts when it is forward biased when it is forward biased the zener breakdown voltage is the zener breakdown voltage is 6.8 volts 6.8 volts the maximum and minimum values of the maximum and minimum values of output voltage respectively r the output voltage respectively r the given circuit is this one it's 1k diode d1 this is zn diode and vz is equals to given it as 6.8 volts v gamma equals to 0.7 volts v z is equals to 6.8 volts given its vi is given 10 sin 100 pi t some value diode 
The options are maximum value is 6.1 minus 0.7 volts, option B. 0 0.7 volts minus 7.5 volts, option C. 7.5 volts minus 0.7 volts, option D. 7.5 volts minus 7.5 volts. Okay. How to proceed for this one? He is given 10 sin 100 pi t here. This diode D1, here diode D2, here G0 diode. It's a sign. That means a input is a sinusoidal. Positive half cycle will be there. Negative half cycle will be there. Consider during positive half cycle, during positive half cycle, Diode D1 is, anode is connected at higher potential, therefore it is forward bias. What about diode D2? Reverse bias. What about Gina diode? Gina diode. Okay. Anode is connected to zero, cathode is connected to higher potential. Therefore, Gina diode also reverse bias. Anode is connected at lower potential, therefore it is reverse bias. And assuming that the Gina diode is operated in the breakdown region. If it is operated in the breakdown region, no, now this is replaced by a 0 0.7 volt source. This is replaced by 6.8 volts. This is replaced by open circuit. In that case, see, this is replaced by 0 0.7 volts. This is replaced by a open circuit. What about this diode? Okay, it is replaced by a constant current source, whether it is like this or whether it will be like this. Okay. Now see here, here we will have a cathode. But already I gave in the equivalent circuit, okay, here it has to be positive, here it has to be negative, since it's, we are operating in the reverse bias. Therefore, it is replaced by like this. And it is equals to 6.8 volts. Once again, condition is Gina diode. We are assuming it is in the breakdown region. Because you are applying 10 volts, so you require only 6.8. It will be in the breakdown region. Now, what is the voltage between these two points? It is an open circuit. Therefore, this voltage is equal to this voltage. And here plus minus here, both are in the series. 6.8 plus 0.7, 7.5. Therefore, either option can be C or option can be D. Okay, we have seen only for positive half cycle. Now we will come for the negative half cycle. Okay, this one is like this. Diode D1, diode D2, Vz equals to 6.8 volts. Negative half cycle. During negative half cycle, what is going to happen? Negative, therefore diode D1 is reverse bias. D2 is forward bias. Gina diode, here we will have a higher potential, here we will have a lower potential. Therefore, Gina diode, forward bias. Okay. Now, this diode is reverse bias means open circuit. So, there is a voltage source, anything is there in this path, what is the use? If it is open circuit, no current flows. Therefore, there is no use of this one. Now, it is replaced by a source. How it is replaced by? See here, like this. And what is the value of this one? 0.7. Now, see here, here we are having plus, here we are having minus. But output here it is plus, here it is minus. Therefore, V naught is minus of? Points on because this polarity and this polarity are opposite to each other. Therefore, answer is 7.5 volts and minus 0.7 volts. Clear? Next problem.
Next problem. A Gina diode, a Gina diode in the circuit shown below figure, a Gina diode in the circuit shown in the below figure has a knee current of, has a knee current of, knee current of 5 milliamperes, knee current of 5 milliamperes and a maximum allowed power dissipation of maximum allowed power dissipation of 300 milliwatts 300 milliwatts what are the maximum and minimum load currents what are the maximum and minimum load currents that can be drawn safely that can be drawn safely from the circuit from the circuit keeping the output voltage constant keeping the output voltage constant at 6 volts keeping the output voltage constant at 6 volts is given IZ mean GNR current of 5 milliamperes maximum allowable power dissipation PZ max 300 milliwatts milliwatts V naught is 6 volts task to find out what are the maximum and minimum load currents? IL min IL max. The options are 0 milliampere, 180 milliampere, 5 milliampere, 110 milliampere. 10 milliampere, 55 milliampere, 60 milliampere, 180 milliampere. Ask to find out IL min, IL max. Same. Here current flowing, here it is IS, here it is IZ. Apply KCL here. IS is equals to IZ plus IL. What is IS value? Output voltage has to be maintained at 6. Therefore, GNR voltage is 6. Therefore, IS is 9 minus 6 by 50. It's 3 by 50. Okay. I think then it is 3 by milli amperes. Therefore, IS is 60 milliamperes. Then, 60 milliamperes is equals to minimum 5 milliamperes. IZ is minimum. Therefore, IL is maximum. Here, once again, the formula I will write it here. IS is equals to, here it is given minimum GNR current. IZ minimum it is given. Here it is given IZ min actually. IZ min means compulsory here it has to be IL max. Okay. Therefore IL max. Therefore IL max is equals to 60 milliamperes minus 5 milliamperes. It is 55 milliamperes. IL max. IL max. Now we require IZ, IL minimum. For that purpose, he is given PZ max is equals to 300 milliwatts. What is PZ? VZ into IZ max is equals to 
300 milli watts. What is Vz value given? 6 into Iz max equals to 300 milli watts. 300 milli. Therefore, Iz max equals to 300 into 10 power minus 3 divided by 6. Therefore, here we are going to get it as 6 into 50 milli amperes. 50 milli amperes is Iz max. Same formula here, Is equals to, if Iz is max, then Il has to be min. This Is is fixed, that is 60 milli amperes equals to 50 milli amperes plus Iz minimum, I not Iz, Il. Therefore, Il min is equals to 10 milli amperes. The only thing is, same formula, since Is is constant, and we ask you to find out Il min and Il max. If Il min means Ix max, maximum current has to flow through G0 diode. Then only this equation satisfies. That's why we have seen how it acts as a regulator. Similarly, Il is minimum means Iz is max. Il is max means Iz is min, because Is is a constant. Therefore, using that one, same formula is modified like that. Clear? Next problem. For the circuit shown below, next problem, for the circuit shown below, assume that the Gina diode is ideal, assume that the Gina diode is ideal with a breakdown voltage of, with a breakdown voltage of 6 volts. The waveform observed across resistance R is, okay. Gina diode is having a breakdown voltage of 6 volts, okay, then and input is a AC waveform of 12 sin omega t, what is the observed waveform across this one, clear? Now once again here input is a positive half cycle and negative half cycle will be there. Consider input is a positive half cycle. Therefore, here we will have plus, here we will have zero. Now, the diode is forward bias or reverse bias? The diode is, cathode is connected at higher potential. Therefore, Gina diode, for positive half cycle, for positive half cycle, Gina diode is reverse bias. And it is starting from 0, okay, 0 0.1, 0.2, 0.3, 0.4, 1, 2, 3, 4. This diode is having a breakdown voltage of 6 volts. What is the meaning of breakdown voltage of 6 volts? Till 6 volts, across the Gina diode, till 6 volts, the current flowing through the Gina diode is 0. That means, till your input is reaches to 6 volts, more than 6 volts, 
input is more than 6 volts amplitude, sinusoidal signal amplitude. The diode is, even though it is in the reverse bias, in the reverse bias condition, it is in this region. In this region, current flowing through the Zener diode is 0. Current flowing through the Zener diode is 0 means V0 is 0. That means, up to till 6 volts of input voltage, the diode acts as a, what we can say that, open circuit. No current flows through that one. Therefore, it is 0. Clear that point? Once it has to overcome the bar, uh, Zener breakdown, then only it continuously produces 6 volts. Till that one, it is an open circuit. Open circuit means current is 0. Okay. Now, once it is greater than 6 volts, 6.1, 6.2, 6.3. Now, 6.1 you applied. There is a drop of 6 volts across this one. Therefore, output will be 0.1 volts. Then 0 0.2, 0 0.3, 0 0.4 like this. How much it goes? Maximum 6 volts. Okay. Once again, till this one it is okay, good. From here to here it is greater than 6 volts. Once again input is falling below 6 volts. Once again output voltage will be 0. Clear? That is about for the positive half cycle. Coming for the negative half cycle. Coming for the negative half cycle. This here will have negative. Now the diode is forward bias. Forward bias acts as a normal diode. Still cut in voltage, current is zero. That's 0.7. Okay, still for the okay, consider this is still positive cycle, negative half cycle, till some small voltage, output voltage is zero. Then output follows the input. 12 minus 0.7, that is if you consider it is 11.3. If you are not considering that uh, what we can say cut in voltage, here 12 volts it comes. See, if you are considering cut in voltage in the forward bias condition, 11.3. Clear? This is the output voltage waveform for this circuit. Next problem. For the Gina diode shown in the figure, for the Gina diode shown in the figure, comma, the Gina voltage at knee is, the Gina voltage at knee is, KNE, knee is 7 volts, comma, the knee current is negligible, the knee current is negligible, and the Gina diode is having a dynamic resistance of 10 ohms. If the input voltage is varying from 10 volts to 16 volts, the output voltage will range varies from, okay, it is 200 ohms, VI, seven volts. Minus plus. Now, input is varying from 10 to 16 volts. Gina diode is having a breakdown voltage of 7 volts. Gina diode is having a res dynamic resistance of 10 ohms. Then, V0 is ranging from, okay, option A, 7 volts to 7.29 volts, option B, 7.14, 7.14 volts to 7.29 volts, option C, 7.14 volts to 7.43 volts, option D, 7.29 volts to 7.43 volts. In this case, here important thing is, previously, till previous problems, all whatever we have seen, 
Gina diode, there is no resistance is given in the problem. Now it is given in the problem as some resistance is there. Therefore, I gave two equivalent circuits, one containing only voltage source, other one containing voltage source and resistance. Therefore, this is replaced by like this, a 7 volts, then we have a resistance. What is the resistance value? 10 ohms. Now, what is the output voltage here? The output voltage is this 7 volts plus the voltage drop across this one. Okay? And since input voltage is varying from 10 to 16 volts, the current also go varies. Therefore, voltage drop also varies. Therefore, we will have two voltage ranges. Consider now, the current flowing through this one is right now, assume it is I1. Okay? That means right now, VI is consider VI equals to 10 volts. In that case, I am representing current as I1. Then, I1 is equals to 10 minus 7 volts divided by 200 plus 10. That is important. Previous problems we have taken 200 only. Okay. But now it is plus 10. That is 3 volts divided by 210 volts. 210 ohms. Okay. This can be written as 3000 milliampere milli divided by milliampere current. 210. It is 37300. Okay. This is 100 by 7 milliampere I1. Therefore, VO1 voltage when current I1 is flowing, that is 7 volts. This will be asked is plus current I1 100 by 7 milli into 10 volts. That is 7 volts plus that is milli will cancel 1 by 7. 7 plus 1 by 7. Whatever the value you are getting it. That is VO1. Now consider input voltage VI equals to 16 volts. Then current is I2. How to find out I2? 16 minus 7 divided by 210. Okay. That is 6, 9. 9 by 210. That is 9000 by 210 milli amperes. Okay. Something, this will get I2 value. Then VO2 is equals to 7 volts plus 900 by 21 into 10 power minus 3 into 10. Okay. So, whatever this, uh, this uh, does become 7 plus 9 by 21. That's 3, 3, 3, 9, 1 by 3. Okay. That is 7.14 is 1. That is 1 by 7. 100. I think it's 43 something. I think it, maybe check it. Around 7.14 to 7.43. I check it option. It's option C. 7.14 to 7.43. It's clear like this. Now we'll proceed for a break. After break we'll continue with the problems. Then we'll go for the next topic.